Hello guys, welcome to algorithms made easy. Today we will be discussing the question minimum cost to move chips to the same position. In this question we are given n chips with the position of ith chip is position of i. Now we need to move all the chips to the same position and in one step we can change the position of the ith chip from position i to position of i plus 2 or position of i minus 2 with a cost of 0 and position of i plus 1 or position of i minus 1 with cost 1. We need to return the minimum cost needed to move all the chips to the same position. Now at first the question looks a bit tricky. If we are given 3 chips which are position at 1, 2 and 3, we will first move the third chip to for the first position without any cost and then move the second chip at the first position with one cost. So we return output as 1. Now if the chip structure is like that, then in this case, we can move these two chips to the second position one by one with the cost 2. Now coming to the hints given with the question is the first move keeps the parity of the element as it is. What it means is if we see over here the parity of 3 is an odd and parity of 1 is also odd and the first move that we made for 3 is at 1 and the parity still is odd for the chip that were positioned at 3. So that means the first move will keep the parity as same. Now the second hint is the second move will change the parity. If we see the chip at position 2 when moved with cost 1 changes its parity from even to odd. So that is a change. Now the third hint given to us is since the first move is free if all the numbers have the same parity the answer would be 0. Yeah that means if all the values are at even position or all the values are at odd position then there won't be any cost involved and the answer would be 0. Now we need to find the minimum cost to make all the numbers have the same parity. Now what will be the cost? Coming back to the approach what we need to do is we need to first find how many values are in the even parity and how many values are in the odd parity. To do so we will have two variables even and odd. Once we have these variables, we'll iterate over the position array and find how many are even or odd. Now, as a third hint suggests that if the numbers have the same parity, then the answer would be zero. That means, so if all the values are even or all the values are odd then we simply return 0 otherwise we need to return the minimum of the 2. Now how do we know that the minimum will be answer? as we need to find the minimum cost involved and we can apply this logic on this uh, example we see that instead of moving these three chips to the third position it will be better if we move these two chips at three position to the two and this will involve cost which is the minimum of this two which is two when we run this code we get the right result now let's check for the second example as well. It is also giving the right result. Let's submit this. So it got submitted. The time complexity of this algorithm is O of n as we are traversing over all the position array and the space complexity will be O of 1 as we are not using any extra space. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.